Dionysius and Pirates. The gods, according to Greek mythology, would take the shape of human beings. One day, Dionysius, the god of wine, took on the shape of handsome young man dripping with jewels. He was sitting on a boat when pirates spotted him. They thought they had stumbled on a rich prize and they could sell him as a slave to somebody for a great deal of money. They grabbed the man, removed all his jewels and tied him tightly to the mast of a ship. They were all happy as they had got a lot of jewels and the thought of selling him as a slave made them all very excited. Dionysius found all this very amusing. He waited for some time and as the ropes were rubbing into his skin, he used his magical powers and the ropes, all of them fell at his feet. One of the pirates noted that the young man was not tied to the mast and he gasped in surprise. He felt that his fellow pirates had made a mistake. He told the other pirates to return the young man to the shore. The others did not listen to him and instead tied him even more tightly and headed out to sea. Dionysius waited until the ship had reached deep water. He once again removed the ropes. He waved his arms and the sea became violent. He became a lion and snapped at the terrified pirates. They jumped overboard to avoid the claws and teeth of the lion. The only pirate that was left was the one who had warned the other pirates to return Dionysius to the shore. This pirate could not jump into the sea as his feet were stuck. After Dionysius became his original self, he asked the pirate to drop him on the island Nexus, which was nearby. The pirate was terrified but took the ship near the island. Dionysius stepped off the boat and gave the ship a magical shore to sea with the lone pirate on board.